What's up, gang? This is Ken Sir. Ken Zilling is Ken Milligan and Venom on the Twitter game. And we're back on Dong and Rampa Trigger Happy Happy. Alright, look. What time is it? It is 6.48 in the morning right now. I woke up at 4 o'clock so that I could prepare myself to record some more Donk and Rampa. Alright? I'm so, I'm so close to the end of this game and I, I wanna I wanna get to the end of this game. I really wanna see what happens. But let's get back into Dog and Rampa. Hold on. Chapter 5. We're, I think we're about to start daily life. Last episode, we made a distraction from Kyoko so she could steal something or get some more information. So now we're about to go into the dining hall. Oh, I hope Kyoko's alright. Told y'all, bro. Kyoko dies. I might kill myself. I, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could handle that. I don't know if I can handle Kyoko dying. What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? My bad. I'm not feeling great today, man. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse is gonna work? Huh? Uh, are you allowed to talk again? <laughs> I don't recall giving you permission. Ah! I just thought, I mean, since the day had passed, it maybe had reset. Sorry, please don't hit me! Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it! I'll hang a sign from my neck that says bad girl! I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush! <sighs> if you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. Oh my goodness, it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be... Not cool! This is worse than being late for lunch. For a date, for a wedding, for anything! Um... Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not gonna show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason is, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah! Are you looking for Miss Kitagiri? <laughs> oh, what, what do you want now? Hey! Hey! I'm right, right? You wonder what Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Ooh. Ooh, well, it's hard to say. Huh? huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here to try and prod us for information. Uh huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone their favorite movie and they name some indie bullcrap? This is very I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Hey, hey! So was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri? Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. What the heck? And even if we did, no, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? Hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um. Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you su how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how could he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice. Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. At least you're not stupid enough to just be like, hey, maybe she went blah, blah, blah. Woo! Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. 
feel like she's more than me just staying up late last night. I wanted to boost up the social link with freaking Kyoko, but I guess I can't do that for now. I guess I'm gonna keep going with, um, Asahina. It's crazy how Sakura dies right before we get the dojo opened up. That's kind of messed up. Okay. Even if it's hard, you have to endure, endure, endure. Wow. That's a quote from a famous marathon runner, Samuel Win Wanjiru. Hmm. But every person's endurance has a limit. Let me talk to her. Yeah. I think we need to change your pace. And when I think of change of pace, you got it. I can only think of 50 laps in the pool. I'm not. I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Sounds kind of filthy. Oh, uh, let's see. What person do I have that she would like? I don't care. Oh, she liked it. What the heck? He, how thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Whoa, hold on. Ah, hold on, hold on. I mean, not like, 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 not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh. Oh, this sucks. What happened to her? She seems way more depressed than usual. Hey, Hina, what's wrong? Um. Oh, well, I tried to convince myself I was imagining it, but I totally wasn't imagining it. Imagining what? I got fat. I figured. I'm so fat! Fat from every angle! I hate this! I hate it! I may as well just accept it and embrace my new big fat fatty attitude. But what if I just keep getting fatter and fatter and it never stops? I'm sick of this. I just get so disgustingly morbidly obese and then nobody wants to marry me. Which makes me depressed and I get even fatter. Eventually I can't even stand up on my own. And then I die sad and alone. Nobody notices. I finally lose weight when my body starts to rot. I, 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 I think you're overdoing it. What the heck? So as far as I can tell, you look about the same. What the heck? You're just saying that I'm a total chub moss. I'm a perfect circle. No, seriously. I'm not just saying that. Hmm. Then I'm still hot. Well, I mean, yeah. Really? Then I might still make it out alive. Yeah, I'm sure you'll make it out alive. <laughs> thank God. Seriously, thank God. Okay. But I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement. As of right now, Aoi Asahina is on a diet. A diet? You got it. Just you watch. I'm going to get so thin it'll scare the crap out of you. Well, don't overdo it, okay? Okay. Don't try and stop me. I made up a mind. And my willpower is rock hard. And now my resolve is even more rock hard. You got it. But before all that, time to get stuffed on donuts. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. I love that phrase, bat out of hell. I'm not sure if dieting is really in Hina's skill set. Woohoo! I guess I'll hang out with, um, Biakuya, as my friend likes to call him. Feel even worse than I did this morning. Now I'm getting chills. Oh, this is bad. I think I might be getting sick. I'm gonna hang out with Biakuya. I might get a skill. Actually, no, I'm gonna go with Toko. Are they in here? I know it said where they were, but I don't remember. Makoto, are you leering at me? What are you thinking? What are you planning to do to me? Should I talk to Toko while she's acting like this? <laughs> while she's acting like this is hilarious. I was perfectly happy spending time by myself. But I guess if you're so desperate for attention, I can hang out for a little bit. I spent some time with a cold and distant Toko. We grew a little closer. Let's see. I really have no clue what she likes. So I don't know what to give her. She, she seems to be into that stuff. What the heck? Why are you giving me this? You want me to throw it away for you? Throw away your own trash. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm getting chills. I feel kind of dizzy. 
I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I jumped onto the bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. Oh, Celeste would probably like the whip because she seems to be into that stuff. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I went back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say. Sleeping with your whole fit on is crazy. I was restless. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And with the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That voice is so familiar. Ah, I it's... understand. It's me. I... Understand. What are you looking at? I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? What am I trying to say? Oh, this is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. <laughs> Pretty stupid if you ask me. My dream just now. What? So strange. Huh? What the heck? Wait, hold on. I what? Yo, who is that? Was we about to get a set? You need to start locking your door like Kyoko said. We almost got assassinated. Mm -hmm. Kyoko? What the? Kyoko. What did you? What did you say? What the heck? What the frick is that? I'm so lost. Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I consider that pretty damn abnormal. Why? When did Monokuma start cursing? That's facts, though. That is pretty weird. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially get ready. Ah. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Ah. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy, they all had disappeared in the night. All that was left was me drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I caught either, it was also a dream I had. The hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was so desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab one of the fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with the fever and I couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice I didn't really understand. And then, All of a sudden, I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought him off, but I don't actually remember. Felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. 
I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own and because of that, I don't really remember what happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember, Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? <laughs> the knife. Oh my goodness! I knew it! It's empty, there's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Cause it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it, I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this makes all even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was behind that mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall, then I could talk to everyone else about it. You're covered in sweat, you might wanna shower. You dirty boy. Hey, Makoto. Oh, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky is blue. Hey, Hina. Um... You really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worry? I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come to get me? Did something happen? <sighs> um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else, and they can tell you all about it. So is everyone else waiting somewhere or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. All right. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym, why is everyone in the gym? In the entire night? They better than me. I ain't doing all that. Like, I'm about to, I'm about, I'm about to fall asleep. I'm about to start sleeping right now in the middle of this video. Ah, uh. oh, there he is. Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us stay all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Just like Hina said, everyone was there, besides Kyoko. And then I noticed, they'd formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw that what that, what that something was. What the? Before I could catch myself, I cried out. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. They killed him, let's go! He's dead! What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not in her face. Nobody cares! Hm. Relax, there's no danger. I mean, you say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? What the freak is going on? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say that tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Yuck and you found this little fellow lying around, then we tore it apart. That does not explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk with Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here just like normal, however. When I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. 
I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the dis 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 disassembly process. It was master stroking of genius. A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond a normal remote control toy. Who has the free who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. <gasps> maybe he's dealing with Kyoko right now in person! Did Kyoko pull up on him? So if he didn't break it down. So in other words. Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master they ran away in terror. Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. That's true, he says the exact same thing every day, right? I mean, I questioned that before, but he switches it up sometimes, doesn't he? Hey. Hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is it? That is a bomb! Huh? It's what? Hm. A bomb. There's one instilled in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? What? Remember, he was about to blow up Mondo in episode one. A, 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 a bomb? Oh, that's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Uh, um... Roger that. <laughs> it appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements is sure to go off. What? What? Motion sensor. Oh, I'm starting to get shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. You are so not fun, you're all- ah, ah, ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned. The motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> ah, jeez, don't scare me like that, man. <sighs> God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on, the century just started. Don't call the race already. <sighs> Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it's not gonna do anyone good. Um, oh yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's good. Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind? What could that have been when I thought about it? I couldn't help but think back to the night before, being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto. Huh? Hey. Don't Hans. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Huh? So that's a no. What are you? Some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. Hmm. We were saying since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? And we've decided to continue our offensive dis assault. It's all clear now. To try one, to try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're gonna break into the headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. Wouldn't you agree? But if the mastermind comes back while we're in there, what? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. <gasps> or go live in a chicken coop with all the other chickens. You could be chicken number six. Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right, I'll go with you. It's all clear. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything, everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, Master! To the ends of the Earth! Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do it! I'm a man! I can do it! 
I've got the world, the entire universe on my side. We each found a determination in our own ways. And when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. <sighs> oh. Yasuhira, I will stab you. What the heck? Ina! Okay. Alright, let's go. Rattle, rattle. Hmm. It's locked as expected. So, what are you gonna do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tear this door off its hinges. Huh? Wait, but the rules say... Hmm. We've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we were in here... So, in other words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. So beautiful! Ah, I'm coming! I mean... Oh. What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it! Let's rip this door down! Actually... Okay, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Ooh, what about that one thing? Thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could very well be what we need. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was just before nine, so it's probably nine on the dot. It's all clear now. Okay. Go get the pickaxe and be back here by 901. What? What? That's straight up unreasonable. I, 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 but by, by myself? Naturally. Surely you'd like to have some. Surely you'd like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? 10 seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Unacceptable! With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Hey. Seriously though, how are we gonna knock this thing door down? Hm. No problem, it's so oh crap. No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. Where are your testicles at? You need to let them drop. He ain't capping. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. Hey, Kyoko said that. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Hey, Kyoko said that. We all know the danger, but if that risk does, if that means, if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey, Kyoko said that. Hey. Am I wrong? Hey, Kyoko. Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um. Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense, I can hardly talk. I'm all flub butt. I'm totally flabat. Flabstat. Fapsas? Gross, where did that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill, where'd you come from? You called for me and so I appeared. Hello, hello. It's the wondrous, murderous fiend. Here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. <laughs> Gotta love her. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I, I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile, the pickaxe! Uh -huh. Seeping imbecile, oh master, you wound me with your executive label barbs! <laughs> oh, here comes the bloody nose! Huh? Seriously though, did you forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest! Omega-3 fatty asses, that's what you need! Great for the old memory factory! Y'all don't, y'all don't remember. Um, Genocide Jill doesn't remember anything Toko remembers. They have different, they're literally just two different people. But I think we already established that memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Ooh, yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> All right, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one mystery left. One more mystery. Hmm. Yep. Now we should need to figure eight. out the identity of Object X. So, um... Now what are you talking about? <sighs> Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. 
gotta be kidding. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> Carpus. Cor did you hear me? I said corpse. A corpse? Yep. That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. We found a corpse in the garden. What, what did you say? Well then, before we head to the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. No! No! As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Oh! It's the bomb! I saw someone lying on the ground with a mask covering their face. It's the dude that tried to rob me! That tried to assassinate me! And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the, up to the hilt. What the... Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? Just to make things clear, last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I told you! There's a corpse hanging out here! No way! Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. We need to find out who this actually is, but there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know... Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing. All signs of life has come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl at least. Huh? How can you tell? Well... Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be... <laughs> okay, then! Yes. Let's just tear the mask clean off! Come on! Wait, don't! But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hands shot out toward the mask, and in the next instant... There was a blinding light and a deafening roar! The body blew up! It blew- WHAT?! My vision started to darken, I prepared to pass out, but then- Hurry up, put out the fire! As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands, it was a bucket of water. Come on, dump it! Dump the water on it! Okay! The upper half of the body was on fire, I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire and died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I... I guess that took care of it. Oh, but what the hell, man? It exploded? What, what did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... It's burnt to a crisp! That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak, I'll never be able to eat steak again! But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we gonna find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? Huh? What? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Um... 
There's only one person missing. Uh, um... It's Kyoko. So basically, I should kill myself is what you're telling me, right? That's what you're telling me, right? I should kill myself. I, I should just free, pew, you know, like just, all oh, right. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> oh, y'all are so silly. Y'all are so silly. Ah, Kyoko. Then that dead body is Kyoko. No, that can't be right. Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, but I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words, the mastermind. What? 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 The mastermind? What the heck? Come on, there's no way the mastermind got charbroiled. Let's get serious. Hm. I agree. Normally, the idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if the master is dead, right? But... But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. And according to the files, the, master, the head master is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible that he's likely somewhere in the school right now. What the heck? He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then that means the mastermind isn't the headmaster. Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What? What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks this Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I've no doubt I'm right. I see. There's another student here, and it's female. That would match the battery characteristics. So, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Makuro. And she's a student here. She's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here like a, in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What the heck? None of this makes any sense. To suddenly, to just suddenly show up and then die? Hmm. I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. Then maybe some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. I was gonna say this earlier, but I, I didn't say it because I thought about it was stupid. But it can, I don't think it's I don't think it's Kyoko. Like, look at her hair. Look at her hair. Her hair looks brownish, you know. And I don't I don't know what happens when you burn hair, of course. But but her hair looks brownish, and I know Kyoko's hair is white or uh, well, silver. I don't see any hints of silver in her hair. So even if it was burnt, you think there might be like you know at least hints of the original color. But at the same time, I don't know what happens when you burn hair, so I can't speak on it. I don't know. Ah, uh, hey, wait. What? Um... Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toka? What? what? Oh yeah, she totally got blown up, huh? Hmm. Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Uh. Oh, she survived! Oh, she survived. Ah, oh, what happened? Master! Stop talking. You declared for the whole world to hear. You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Okay then, <laughs> I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. 
This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. And her hair seems a lot shorter too. And she's wearing high heels. I don't, did Kyoko wear high heels? Look man, I'm trying my hardest to find out any reason why this isn't Kyoko. I should take a close look at the body one more time. So, um... Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Shut up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm not gonna touch the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko after all. What is this? Ah, oh, man! And I know Kyoko wears a glove over her right hand too. She might have been covering that. Hold on, there's something on the ground there. Okay, bro. There's something next to the body. It's it's a key. Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? But what did you steal? So I stole this. A key. But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is... What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? I see. That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So in other words... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. All right, so where are we going? I don't remember at all. Oh, it worked. Oh, uh, we're in the data lab. This is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock the data center. Guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we can get into the data center now? I see. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um... Hey, so when you open that door, it's not going to be like another big kaboom like before, right? Uh, um... You're asking that question now? Hmm. Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? In other words... It's in your hands. Again? It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. In another word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school here. Here, the fear was leaking beneath the surface. The room was filled with the, that kind of dread. What? what? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look at what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. Th this is... What? It's a direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in a school feed back into this room. And they're displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <laughs> to watch us? Then this room is... It's all clear now. It's the mastermind's private room without a doubt. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. 
So the mastermind was here, watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Huh? huh? <laughs> the body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it could only mean one thing. <laughs> that the body of Mikuro is Kusaba, and she was the mastermind. <gasps> then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. For, for sure? <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. The Master Mine is dead. Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because I mean that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was it that... But... But if the Master Mine really is dead... That means we can finally get out of this hellhole. How about that? We gotta hurry up and find the exit, come on. That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh, but what about the exit? Hm. If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, <laughs> we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. Hm. And I'm bothered by the fact the mastermind was obviously murdered. What? Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Hmm. The state of the corpse make it, makes it plain as day. There is absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But... Why has it got to be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such ignorance. That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you! Now you understand, you useless insect! You're banned from talking to Master ever again! The mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. This room may very well hold the secrets of those questions. After all, the mastermind must have spent who knows how much time in here. Hmm. Okay then, let us begin the search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Bunch of computers all lined up. They all look like high performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Ultra Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what, we can't do anything? To use your fighting spirit and force your way in. Huh? What century are you from? The mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network and alter ego. Hmm. You may well be right about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. This door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? No luck. Um... The door is locked, huh? What if you use the key that opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nope, no good. I wonder if it fit the keyhole. Hmm. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? Nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Hina's right, the mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Oh my goodness. There's a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. As long as I have this. Huh? Look at Master Go! It's like a feast for the eyes! How, how much, how much is a monthly membership? There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm. Hey, look next to the TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is. It's like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we can watch TV. Huh? Huh, did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning, Hina's here. Mm. Um, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, we can watch TV. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Ah, uh, you're our star from in for inside from info. Bah! You're our star for info from the in on. Ah! You're our star for info. Oh my goodness! You're all star for info from the outside world, huh? Mm. All right, let me work my magic, and you'll be quantum leaping your way into the TV land before you know it. 
I mean, I get the reference, but what is he talking about? You know? Hmm. Huh? Oh. Oh, ho. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Good news for all you Saturday morning titties out there. I think I got the TV working. Ah. Really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Uh. Freaking idiot mastermind. Oh, you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. What the heck? And they're sitting in here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it? Huh? This is... Hmm. It's a feed from the surveillance camera monitoring Tinger's room, what isn't it? Heck? That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Mm -hmm. You're weird. Weird in every way possible, not just weird, super weird. But... but this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh, um... Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Hero went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? What the heck? Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Hmm. What? <sighs> that was so casual. Ugh. That was so casual. What the heck? I mean, I knew he wasn't dead, but this is a. I knew he wasn't dead, but that was the like a perfect freaking reveal. What the heck? They did that perfect. I need to use the bathroom. I'll be back. Oh my goodness! A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? Whoa. Oh, what? <laughs> have been a while, you freaking bastards! M Monokuma? Hmm? How? You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> Me dead? Don't be freaking stupid! What? Hey, you're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh, Not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you even alive? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Ooh, the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead off of this moment. Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who, to, who, should, who pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. <laughs> well, now. And now that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going. No! We're supposed to get out of here! Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here! And besides, this life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst! If it's the worst, does that mean you're in... Despair? I hate this guy. Well, now. Woo, I'm poop from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point. Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is, essential, is, an, is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it. It was hiding a secret of some kind. What the heck? But I connected the antenna, so why, why is it showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look at how attentive they are now. Well then... I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. Ah! That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming from the end from the antenna. Huh? Huh? 
What's that mean? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. Oh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Kills, kills, kills. The killing game is being broadcast live to the whole world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? Extreme. The killing game is being broadcast to the whole world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. Huh? What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh, the camera no! feed is being broadcast? No way, that's impossible. Oh, that kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course. I heard a kind of creaking, but the waves was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know? All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show. The best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If this was on the TV, the police and everyone else would go crazy. Uh, um... Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually, what if they already did? Huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really giving you their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you. But who would actually come here to help? Hmm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take care of all communications like that, you need an astronomical, astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Of course. Yeah, duh, there's a little business of. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Class trial, do you mean? <laughs> it's the Monokuma file! I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here. Everyone give it all you've got, okay? Heart pounding excitement! Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here. So you're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible, the truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. I took everything I it took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment and how is he still alive? I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah. And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part is obvious. The class trial is a class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikusaba was the one that died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Mukuro Uku Ikusaba, isn't dead. So naturally that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. That body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? 
No, it's not possible. Because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it in like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself. Anyway, we'd better begin. But... But if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer. That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Hmm. Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Oh, uh, but you just said... Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm gonna begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That's how this game works after all. I'm depressed! Don't play this freaking radical music while I'm over here! Having a crisis? My goat just died! Shut this music up! This is kind of bumping them. Well, I'd better... Well, I'd better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered in other wounds, but these were at least but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The unidentifiable body, could it really be Kyoko? Or I have no choice, I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime, back to the garden! Monokuma file 5 has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. That's the end of the episode. I'm I'm hungry, I'm sad, and I, I just need to rest. It's like 8 o'clock, so I'll probably pick it up in a little bit once I get some rest. But peace out. I love you guys, and... If you if you never see me again, just know it's it's because of this right here. Smell like gas, I think somebody pooped.